Hello, my name is Christine Carlson, and I teach British and World Literature at Wisconsin, Def Des I'm sorry, Wisconsin Virtual Academy and Destinations Career Academy. I tried um, co-mingling those two words. Uh, we here fondly refer to those two schools as WEVA and DCA, and I am proud to say I teach at both. We start our Hamlet unit on Monday, and I want to share an amazing platform, an amazing website called myshakespeare.com, and I want to get my students started on how to sign in and start using myshakespeare.com for our Hamlet unit. So up in your URL for Google, I want you to type in myshakespeare. Now you're going to have to know how to spell Shakespeare. C-H- I'm sorry. Oh my word. I can tell it's Friday. My, M-Y, Shakespeare, S-H-A-K-E-S-P-E-A-R-E.com. MyShakespeare.com. Hit enter and this glorious website pops up. Um, let me tell you how much I absolutely adore this website and all it has to offer. All right. Best thing about it, I think, the tools are free and they're worth money. Like I probably would pay for this if I if it wasn't free. So it's amazing. All right, you're going to click on sign up for a free account. And I want you to sign in with Google. I want you to use your Google account that is associated with your first and last name so that if you turn something in for me uh, from this myshakespeare.com site, I will know it's you, right? So don't be using your Jingle Bunny 2023 account or something like that because I won't know it's you and I want to be able to give you credit for your work. So you're going to sign in with Google and um, you're going to sign in with the account that you have with um, that's associated to your first and last name. I'm just going to use this for um, today. And this will pop up. Please complete your profile. Um, so just go ahead and fill in your name. Actually, I am going to use um, my pretend name just so that I know um, who this is when they sign into my classroom. And we'll put a student, a excellent student or an excellent student. Select your role. You're going to click student. You're going to enter your school name, and if you go to DCA, enter that school name. And I want you to, under join a classroom, you're going to put in a code, depending on if you're in my morning or you're in my afternoon um, course. So if you are in my morning session, you're going to use the code 83 capital P as in Paul, N as in Nancy, H as in Henry, R as in Ralph. If you are in my afternoon session, you're going to use the code 62 capital S as in Sam, U as in Umbrella, J as in John, H as in Henry. Pause this if you need to. Graduation year, hopefully it's 2023, right? I'm, I'm rooting for you to graduate this year. And it should say your profile was successfully saved. I have not figured out how to put my picture up here yet. I've been working on it and I still have not figured out a way. So, all right, um, explore a play. Um, you can go right to my Hamlet and continue, you know, like start to explore if you want to. But there's this awesome video site tutorial. Um, I'm actually going to make this an assignment, so you will see this pop up in your assignments. I'm going to require that you uh, look at this so that you know how to navigate the um, the website. But if you'll notice here, if you go right to my Hamlet. And just start 
looking around, playing around with it. You're not going to break anything. So um, as you'll see, it starts right out at Act 1, Scene 1, which makes sense, right? And the video tutorial that I'm going to assign for you will explain how to use each of these various, um, what, tools? I don't know what to call them, um, but it's just amazing. So start going in there and like hovering over things. It'll say, what's happening? And you can click on that and it will bring up a video. And you can click on this little audio speaker thing. And you can click on um, the little quote thing, quote bubble, and it will pop up with some um, closer up views of the dialogue going on. If you click here, there's a discussion. Long live the king. Click to see the note. And oh, unfortunately, I didn't make my screen large enough for you to see that. But um, it says discussion. Long live the king is the password which identifies Bernardo as the relief who has come to stand the next watch and it goes on. And there's a little question mark and it'll talk about the scene. So as you can see, lots to navigate here, but what I think, well, one of my favorite parts anyway, aside from the little videos that pop up and the notebook, which I love, I love this glossary under nay, because that's not a word that we use a lot, it'll give you a little glossary. No, it means no. Stand means stop. Unfold yourself. Identify yourself. This is phenomenal for my students because Shakespeare language can be really difficult, right? So this is invaluable, I think, as a resource. And then of course, and oh, by the way, you have to have this turned on, glossed words on. If you have that off, they go away. So make sure that's turned on because I'm going to keep it on because even sometimes I don't know what some of these words mean. If you click on notebook, you can do all sorts of things in here. I'm going to let you watch the video to find out what those things are. And then when you want to get out of your notebook, you can just click back to play. All right, I'm going to leave you to go and look at um, the site tutorial so that you know how to best operate within this website. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. It should help your understanding of the play Hamlet. And um, I look forward to sharing this unit for, with you. Have a great day.